Clearly, if these walls could talk, they'd have quite a tale to tell. There are walls at Bellasquardo paneled with 18th century carvings imported from chateaus in France. For those of us looking for something a little simpler, there's always wallpaper, which Nancy Giles shows us is also a tradition with a rich history. Where some just see a wall, Heidi Bateau sees a blank canvas. What can you do with wallpaper that you can't do with like a painting or a sculpture? You can wrap the entire room. Absolutely. So you really can have the Become feeling you can yeah. make a jewel box. Exactly. Heidi and her husband, Christian, are the duo behind Assemblage, a wall covering manufacturer outside Fayetteville, Arkansas. Their mission, to freshen up modern American wallpaper using ancient Italian techniques. Every paper is made by hand. We're based in a Venetian plaster, so okay. every single paper is Venetian plaster as it starts, but then from there we move to gold leaf, we use to mica, abalone, mother of pearl. The most precious materials you can find, we like to adorn our papers with. Rolls cost up to $320 per yard and can include up to 25 different layers of material. The first wallpapers, the simple black and white printed papers, were not used in the houses of the wealthy and the aristocracy. Jill Saunders is a senior curator of prints at the Victoria and Albert Museum in London. They were in fact used by the sort of emerging middle class, the merchant class. They wanted to decorate their homes in a way that imitated the homes of the rich. What kinds of designs did people put on wallpaper when it first began? Almost always they're repeating patterns. I mean, you do get some where you've got little vignettes, picture-like vignettes. Wallpapers have always reflected the style of the times. British textile designer William Morris popularized plant motifs. Modern artists have gone digital. There are even peel and stick coverings. Interior designer Sheila Bridges, meanwhile, is applying her own spin to classic canvas toile de jouy. I loved French toiles, but I just didn't think that they were kind of reflective of, of my personality, my point of view, my life. The style, known as Harlem toile de jouy, reinvents those iconic pastoral scenes from the 1700s with visuals from jumping rope and basketball to picnicking, illustrations representative of a more diverse audience. It's just so beautiful and it's historical as well. Heck, we frolic, right? We do frolic. Wallpaper, serious or silly? You might say the ceiling's the limit. Oh gosh, have fun with it. Wallpaper's fun. Mm -hmm.